Here we're looking at the in command 1200 display running uh, an ISO liquid module on a Rogator 1254 sprayer. You can see the ISO liquid UT screen there, or ISO bus screen, I guess. previous pass running a little bit out off the, the sprayer fill. I'll go ahead and I'll turn to manual mode. And do a little doubling up actually. If it's weedy enough you can see where you finished off though too. job up until here. Then I'll kick back on uh, all the swath there for us. Do the side by side look at it or a top down view I like to see sometimes. Just look at your UT screen there for now too. The steer command does a great job, even even backing up, it'll steer us backwards here on the sprayer. Get us nicely lined up here. And stay engaged, and we'll just drive ahead here. And there we go, beautiful. I might have my legend set up a little too close together, but it's kind of nice to see what the rate controller's been doing. Because it is running a servo pump, or a pump servo, I guess. And she's a little touchy if anyone's ever dealt with one of these before. Getting it dialed in right. I just put a new transducer on here and it's a little off compared to the factory transducer pressure gauge. So I'll have to take a manual gauge reading maybe back by where it's getting it from on a mechanical gauge to dial that in better. ahead and hit settings and if we do need to change nozzles we can select them there from our nozzle list that we have those are the different ones we have uh, in there right now have a nice little little feature and option there for us change the product's density as well there is as you see fit too We've got our productivity screen here nice to keep track of all this stuff as well for record keeping printing out application reports does a nice job and when we switch uh, 
you know different uh, time frames I just switch regions and tr keep track of my field notes that way in a different region of the field uh, for weather conditions change. That's a quick overview of uh, the ISO liquid. You can see we're running a 6500 on the steer command, tracking many satellites. 18 there right now. You can see the differential status right here. We're running through the, no, yeah, can't see it, right? but you can see here we're running through the in trip um, stream off of the 1200. All it needs is a, is a hotspot or Wi-Fi location. So far, it's been working pretty great. Highly recommended. Since we stopped here, disengage steering. You can see it right here in trip. You got different profiles to set up. See all the casters and streams that you're doing even. It's a great little little tool that they have there for us. And uh, yeah, and in a nutshell, that's that's what it's doing and looks pretty good, works pretty good. And if you have any questions, please contact us. Thank you for watching.